Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live above the Brooklyn Folk Festival at St. Anne's Church in downtown Brooklyn right now with Ann Waldman and James Brandon Lewis. Ann Waldman, James Brandon Lewis, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful to be here. Yeah, it's been wonderful to host you and find out how this performance is taking shape. It's been an absolute thrill so far, and we cannot wait to hear what you're about to do. And also, congratulations to you. I'm going to cut to myself so that the audience can see this um, record, Siamaki, which is out in the world right now. Thank you for this copy. Now I own it. And uh, we're going to hear a reworked tune from it in addition to, to other things. And what do you feel like doing first today? I think we'll do this Extinction Aria, which is one of the pieces, just a part of it from Siamaki. And it goes through the six realms, sort of Buddhist psychology of the, you know, from the hell realm to the God realm, and so on. So we're going to stay in the hell realm for a little bit. Beautiful. Da 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 If the warmonger is inventing a battle cry, he, always he, is readying to go. And he thinks, I am a god. You will know this by an easy slogan. Words will be cheap. I am a g -g 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 god. You will know this. You will know this. It's simple words, for they are signaling assemblages that have power. And if the warmonger is insistent, he is surprising himself. Him, it is always him. He is then turning to the mirror of himself to worship himself and then turning if he seems to trace an enemy. He needs to do this. He will do this. It is what he is doing, an imprint for the psyche, for the habit. This is the apparati of becoming, becoming enemy in the creation of a war god realm. Of becoming embattled, of becoming isolated, and becoming a kind of ghostly corporeality. The white ghost, the slaver, the hunter of indigenous ones, knows no solitude, the karmic nightmare, scaffolding doom. Thought inside and brought inside and ripped its guts, no umbrage, the warrior and some total of his dorje and poor but brandishing power. Late in capital, late interiors, what happens to the vast landscape? What cuts, what cuts the outside and folds the metaphor for your sensation, fills it out of memory, out of love? What was it? What was love? Only after a kill can you love your own death, experience a passing through. There is no enemy but the one you manufacture, a beautiful enemy worthier than you are, holds the secret of poetry. <laughs> and ink knows this in creating weaponry highlights the optic nerve look long and hard you will become a machine of death and the drawings are complex ink knows this ink is the challenge. Ink is a drawing of an embodiment, an idea, last call before you amass wealth. Ink as a method to see our concept of the old world and the new 
and the undulation like the searchlights remembering how they go in go in and the creatures the sea creatures Remember when they are in the open sea and stroked and how they drown. Devaloka, Devaloka, place of the gods, anything you want, all the pleasure you could ever imagine, and all the pleasure you could imbibe, and jewels around your neck and oceanic ripples of all exorcisms, all thrilling the chakras, and drugs are nothing compared to the ecstasy of the g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-god realm. And will you age? And will your seat get hot? And you fall off? La 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 The sky is not blue and will not Well, thank you so much, Anne, for coming and doing this. Thank you, James, for doing it. We appreciate it very much. Um, and James, can you tell me what the, the genesis of this relationship is? I mean, there's, there's a ton of artists that I see on the record here. Laurie Anderson, William Parker. I don't see the name uh, James Brandon Lewis on it, but it's. Um, yeah, I know you collaborated with a ton of people on this, and that's kind of been a theme of your career and your entire life. There's a massive list of collaborators. Can you tell us how this, uh, how this partnership formed? Yes, well, we plan to collaborate more, and we've been doing it for a while, and we met first at Naropa. At Naropa. That's right. Yeah, probably a little longer, and we met it when Amiti Baraka, remember, came yeah. to St. Mark's right. Church in the Bowery where you we're were playing. Baraka, yeah, you opened for Amiri, and uh, he's close to my, my son, Ambrose Bai, and Devin Braja Walden, my nephew, who are both in the music worlds and in Devon in particular in the free jazz world. So they were working together. We have a little recording studio at the house. There was constant energy coming through, uh, kind of collective, if you will. And um, the playground of the Americas were right near Sixth Avenue down on McDougal. So a lot of time and listening. I'm a great fan of his and we've been, yeah, performing. We performed at, oh, a couple issue project. Issue project recently and other things. I love his sound. I love his performance energy and how we can go after each other and on the same frequency sometimes. And <laughs> can, you, can you tell me more about what, so I'm, I'm familiar, a little bit familiar with, with Naropa, but I don't fully understand what happens there. I know, so you co-founded with um, Allen Ginsberg, Allen Ginsberg and, and Diane DePrima was right, there right, in the right. early so what's years. What's the mission statement? What is the, the main work that happens there? 1940, 1974, a hundred year project. We had a famous meeting with the founder who was a, a Tibetan Buddhist teacher and with Diane and Alan and John Cage and others and uh, the idea was presented, let's start something that's a hundred projects, a hundred year project at least. And that just gave me this sort of shock to pot. Alan was inspired. We moved out to Colorado. Uh, very um, interesting programs over the years. I basically run and, and uh, am the artistic director of the summer writing program. We founded the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics a full, um, you can do a full MFA degree, and then the summer writing programs, all kinds of things, a print shop, a recording studio, which Ambrose has overseen, uh, magazines, um, political work, you know, protesting at Rocky Flats, that was in the 70s, of course, you know, arrested there with Dan Ellsberg and Allen Ginsberg and others, uh, sitting on the tracks as they were bringing in plutonium for the pits on the warheads. So there were many things that brought us together. Um, 
the negative ions, the um, being at the spine of the continent, near the Continental Divide. Sure, East sure. and West were poets. It's very important, the whole West Coast scene, which is so entangled with what you know people on, on this side have been doing, and a very um, inspiring sense of community, the way poets work together and continue together. So the school is struggles. Uh, we've been closed doing our carrier waves, uh, you know, through the waves teaching, and we plan to open next summer, this coming summer. I just edited a, another anthology called New Weathers based on texts from the school, which includes a lot of, a lot of interesting people from Peter Lamborn Wilson to Ginsburg to Harry Smith, uh, others. Harry was in residence on the campus for several years. Um, yeah, Naropa. Yeah. The ongoing yeah. experiment. Well, congratulations to you. I mean, despite the, I guess, temporary closure right now, that's no small feat to keep something right. going for that long. And clearly with the intention of keeping it going a lot, a, a lot longer than that. It's not yet even halfway through its lifespan. Right. No, uh, there's an emphasis on our archive. Our archive is extraordinary, uh, especially the oral archive of many years. And it's a performative place. It's a uh, place with what well, you were asking, what the... A mission statement, keep the world safe for poetry and for art and for humanity. Beautiful. If it can be safe for poetry, it should be safe for anything. <laughs> well said, and thank you very much for coming here and doing this, and we're very much looking forward to, uh, to another performance with you and James. What do you guys feel like doing second today? Who starts? <laughs> a chant. Of das, 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 capital. Das, 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 capital. Trillions, billions, millions, thousands in the dread, dread. Maims us, kills us, wills us, dead mills us. See the numbers rise and float over your head. It's not remote. Not on remote. Examine graphs, study the lines. All the countries, red and orange, expendable. Who can't spend? Need an amulet, says AMLO in Mexico. Against the times, come dance with us with your shield chart and your das, 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 capital. With your writing on the metal bars, the prison bars, your writing on paper, ephemera, on animal skins, remove the evil eyes of Das 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 Capital. And the turtle carapace, read the signs. And they're bilking us, dealing us, jilting us, nullifying all we need. Food and health and gnosis, gnosis, das, 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 das. Vampire capitalism, that's what it is. Murdering us, gotta put it back where it belongs, down under. Genociding sacred language and deriding sacred language. Heavy dose of das, 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 das. Body bag waits on every street corner. Cold cement, give me pause and shudder. Last rites on a family screen. You're miles away on an old interbating machine. Open up the street tax. Open up the syndicates again. You gotta pay, pay. Everyone's got an inch too close, too close to das, das, das. Burying into the fancy device. Survey our own corpses. No safe nets for remorses. No shimmering Indra's net of love. The web of snares, hunger, anguish, cubby holes of heads, little votary niches. We're all martyrs. And yearning for touch, but gaze into my eyes. Light a candle, we'll leave a whisper. Pull the plug, you don't exist, but doing our best is emanations. While the country burns on the precipice. And the sun turns magenta, and the moon with its bled red ashes, bled red Ashes on the precipice, over the precipice.
Das, 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 das. Kapital. Yeah. Everything's so, prices have gone up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I just paid like 16 bucks for a, it was okay, but it was just a pretty normal omelet with like bad, not, yeah, not very yeah. good cheese inside of it. It was wow. like a slice of government cheese and it was, it government was fine, cheese. but you know, it's like 16 bucks, dude. Um, we, do you guys, um, and are you good for another one or is yeah, it? We yeah. We have a short lullaby for Out. my beautiful grandchild. He's, she, he's uh, uncle James. Nice. Uncle James so uncle James, if it's not too, I, I know that you wanted to keep this particular session focused on Anne, but Anne seemed like to, can we yeah, go to absolutely. Let's yeah. Let's, let's now. do that. So this, this record it's out, this is out in the world right now, right? And, um, so I released, well, actually uh, it's, is I released two albums during this uh, time period versus Jessup Wagon. That's out right now. Uh, features William Parker, Kirk Kanefke, uh Chris Hoffman on cello, and Chad Taylor on the drums. And the latest album, which was a few weeks ago, is called Code of Being. It features Orwan Ortiz, um, Brad Jones on bass, and Chad Taylor again on the drums. And yeah, that's uh, that's that's the latest. They're out in the world. They're on. They're, they're in the universe, they're on Bandcamp and all the other s stuff. So, uh, yeah. Did uh, did William Parker play any role in being the connective tissue between you, James, and you, Anne? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a, a close-knit community. You know, uh, William Parker's worked with poets, and it's, you know, it's, it's the lower, lower east side hang, you know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely, man. So you're able to, uh, hopefully, if everything goes right and everybody continues to behave and we sort of get it together as a society, you've got plans to be, this is, it's public knowledge, right? Your tour plans? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's public knowledge, yes. I just recently um, um, composed a piece uh, for string quartet and tenor saxophone. I'll be going to Poland uh, next, next Wednesday. Um, it's called These Are Soulful Days. Um, yeah, that's that's all the information right now. You can visit my website, jblewis.com, um, to find out more information. Oh, and I'm on Instagram and all that, all that stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you for being with us here today. Oh, and um, yeah, we've got got one more coming up last, right? Yes, this is Cora dreams her crown, and this is for Cora by Anaya. This is the grandchild born at the Equinox in 2020 in Mexico City, where she lives. Her mother, Mat Natalia, is a Mexican photographer, wonderful being. Um, she's family to James. She calls him Uncle James. So we put this together. <laughs> Because everything has its origin, and I'm going place to place from the origin, Maria Sabina. Tenter hooks in an experiment, classroom gone empty, in faithful pandemic, in fateful pandemic, I write truce with new alphabet, forgetting truth. Unseated territory of Ute, Cheyenne, Apero. Unseated territory of Ute, Cheyenne, Arapaho. How far we go a century. Who reads future weather? Keep writing from stage left. Do lessons for treatise on sleep. Oh, Cora, oh, Cora. Invite numbers and chance operations 
as seer of calculus, as topos abuelita, perhaps a wrong occasion, but spiraling. They'll be back, oh, please come back. The storm knocked the power out. We bed down in another room, Mexico estates of the Nahuatl, stylus and astrolobe, with soft animals, lunar moth, mastodon, Cora Bebe in charge, velvet chaplet sitting on haunches, equinoctial. She's always rising up. Wand, her crown, her admirable beauty. Animals frightened in the rain and text soaking of water. What is erased is problematic and you want to cry, but rescue invisible scripture. Spiral memory invokes telepathy. And I have memory, Cora says. Girl Cora studies older now, writes between rounds of crystal ammunition, her dream. Cora, 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 Cora. up on the words. <laughs> Can you fix that? Man, that sounded tremendous. Thank you Can very you much. The little mistake I made. We can give a shot. Arapaho? Was yeah. that the, yeah, 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 we can give it a shot, I think, but more, do you want to give it a second take? Do you want yeah, to take maybe. another shot at it? Do you, mind? do you want to do that online or offline? We can give the audience another one if they want it. We're recording right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe let's do start. it. I'll just start with a Cora dreams her crown because everything has its origin and I am going place to place from the origin, Maria Sabina, for the grandchild down in Mexico City. experiment, classroom gone, empty, in hateful, fateful pandemic. I write truce with new alphabet, forgetting truth, unseated territory of Ute, Cheyenne, Arapaho, how far we go a century. Who reads future weather? Keep writing from stage left, do lessons for treatise on sleep. Invite numbers and chance up as seer of calculus, as topos abuelita, perhaps a wrong occasion, but spiraling. Oh, Cora, Cora, Cora. Come back, please come back. The storm knocked the power out and we bed down in another room Mexico, estates of the Nahuatl, stylus and astrolobe, with the soft animals, the lunar moth, the mastodon. Cora Baby, in charge. Cora Baby, in charge. Velvet chaplet, sitting on haunches, equinoctial. She's always rising up. Oh, Cora, Cora, Cora. Wand and crowned her formidable beauty, animals frightened in the rain, and text soaking wet. And what is erased is problematic. You want to cry, Cora, Cora, Cora. But rescue invisible scripture. Spiral memory invoking telepathy, Cora. And I have memory, Cora says. 
Girl Cora studies, older now, writes between rounds of crystal ammunition, her dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, man. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for the bonus take. We appreciate it very much. Thank and uh, thank you for the record, too. Sayamaki is now, I own it. It's out in the world. Let me Great. see. All right. People can see that well. And James Brandon Lewis, Quartet, thank you much for co very much for Code of Being. We very much appreciate it. And I know you guys got to run the sound check right now, so yeah. enjoy that and uh, enjoy the rest of the Brooklyn Folk Fest. See you guys next time. All right. Thank you for the good work you do. Thank you. That's that. We wrapped. <laughs>